Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating what I found to be the easiest way to install Windows 11 on a device that does not meet the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11 as intended by Microsoft. In a previous video, I showed how you can upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free on a PC that meets the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11. I will leave the link to that video down in the description. And speaking of the official Windows 11 requirements, to summarize that in a sentence, your computer needs to be running an 8th generation or later processor for Intel platforms or the equivalent for the AMDs. Here I have this Lenovo ThinkPad W530 running a 3rd generation Intel Core i7 Quad Core processor, which although powerful but far from meeting the official system requirements for running Windows 11. Here I will show a step-by-step -step approach to still install Windows 11 on this laptop and other laptops that do not meet the official requirements. All you need is a USB flash drive, 8 gigs or larger, and a good internet connection. I will also discuss what you need to know and what precautions you need to take when you choose to go with this approach. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first I will suggest you watch this video to the end before starting this process or better still follow the steps without skipping and instead pause where necessary because there are some little details that if you miss out you might run into some error that might take much longer time to find a fix. Now speaking of the precautions you need to take when you choose to install Windows 11 on such a device that doesn't meet the official requirements as intended by Microsoft. First, from my personal experience, I've been using Windows 11 on a device which I installed using this approach for over two months now. And I can say that so far there hasn't been any kind of malfunctioning or limitations to any application or system processes. However, Microsoft has stated categorically that such systems may not receive some crucial system updates when released. As such, they do not encourage it. So bear this consequence in mind before installing Windows 11 on your unsupported PC. More specifically, please know that you are entirely responsible for any present or future consequence that may come as a result of installing Windows 11 on your unsupported PC. With that said, I will quickly show you what happens when you try to install Windows 11 on an unsupported device like this Lenovo without following the procedure I'll be demonstrating in a moment. So here I will just go to the Windows 11 download page on Microsoft website by simply searching download Windows 11 on Google and then clicking on the link from Microsoft. Here I will just use the Windows 11 installation assistant option, hit download now and wait for the download to complete. Afterwards, I click on the executable file to begin the installation process. And right off the bat, it tells me that this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. And then it gives me a link to the PC Health Check app, which I can download and run to give me more specific details on why my laptop can't run Windows 11. Now, in my case, it's no surprise, but if you feel your PC meets the requirements and you still get this error, then simply download this tool and run to find out more. For instance, maybe you need to change the secure boot option or some other settings. In my case, the processor is obviously too old. No support for TPM 2.0 and probably no support for secure boot as well. Now what this solution does is to force the installation process to ignore these requirements and proceed with the Windows 11 installation anyways. To do that, first you will need a Windows 11 ISO file. Now there are several ways to get this ISO file. However, I have observed that some approaches are significantly faster than others and less prone to download errors, especially if your internet connection is not very fast. For instance, I tried downloading the ISO file directly from Microsoft using this download Windows 11 disk image option. Now, not just is the download extremely slow, it would occasionally stop and put out some error note and then I have to restart the download over and over again. In addition, the ISO file here is about 5.2 gigabytes in size. However, using the Windows 11 installation media tool not only provides you faster download which is less prone to errors, but also the ISO file is about 1 gigabyte less in size. So I highly recommend using the Windows 11 installation media, it's right from the same Windows 11 download page. Just simply click on the download now on that create Windows 11 installation media and wait for the download to complete. Afterwards, click on the downloaded file and hit yes on the user account control. Accept the license terms. And then on the page that follows, select your preferred language and edition of Windows 11. 
Now to be able to do that, you first need to uncheck this um, use recommended option for this PC. I will leave mine as English and Windows 11, of course, and then hit next. Then here it gives you the option to either create a USB installation media or make an ISO file. Here we select ISO file and hit next. And then it asks for location where you want to save the ISO file. I normally like to keep it on the desktop and then hit save. Now immediately your ISO file begins to download. Now this will take a while. You can pause the video and go grab some coffee or keep using your PC while it runs on the background. I'll fast forward this part of the video. Afterwards, it should say burn the ISO file to a DVD. We don't want to do that, so I just hit finish to complete the process. With that, the next step is to download Rufus, which is a free and open source portable application for creating bootable USB flash drives. You can simply search Rufus on Google or visit rufus.ie to download this. Now on this page, scroll down to where it says download. And here you can choose either the installation file or the portable version, both will work equally fine. The portable version allows you to run it from a USB or other removable storages. Here I will download the portable version. Afterwards, just click to run. Hit yes on the user account control. And you should have the Rufus interface pop up. Now here you need to pay attention to the selections to avoid any errors or failure to install. First, plug in your USB flash drive and ensure it's empty or at least doesn't contain files you still need. Then, select the intended USB stick from the drop down. Next, select the Windows 11 ISO file from where you saved it. Mine is on my desktop. Now, as soon as you do that, you will see some additional options. Here for the image option, click the drop down and select extended Windows 11 installation. No TPM, no secure boot. Obviously, this option allows the installer to ignore the TPM and secure boot requirements. Then for the partition scheme, which is very important. Now, if you are installing your Windows 11 on much older computer like this Lenovo, you will likely need to select the MBR option because such systems likely support only BIOS. But if you have a newer laptop like 5th, 6th or 7th generation Intel processors, you can likely use the GPT option, which supports the UEFI boot mode. Now, if you don't understand these terms or if you are not sure what mode your computer supports, you can simply create the USB using one option and then try to make the installation. And if it's unable to install, then you can come back and remake the USB installer using the second option. And that should work fine. I would say the older your computer, the more likely it is to be the BIOS mode. That's the MBR option, while newer computers would likely be the UEFI mode. I already know my computer supports BIOS, so I will go ahead with the MBR BIOS option. And that's pretty much it. Leave everything else as default, and then hit start to begin the process. Now here it pops out this notice reminding me that the data in the USB flash drive will be destroyed during this process. So ensure you don't need anything from the USB stick, and then hit OK to continue. Now that should immediately start the creation process. This will take a bit of time, about 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your USB and how powerful your computer is. I'll fast forward this part of the video. Afterwards, it should say ready, and then you can close to complete the process. And with that, you are good to go. Now you can use your USB to install Windows 11 normally on any device, whether supported or unsupported. This will work fine whether you are making a clean install from boot up or upgrading an existing Windows 10 to Windows 11. In any case, if you do not have an activated Windows 10 or you are making a clean Windows 11 install, we recommend purchasing your intended license keys from Prime Tech Mad. They offer Windows and other software licenses at reduced costs. They also have various Office packages, including the most recent Office 2021, both for Mac and Windows. So if you are interested in any of those, you can check them out. They also offer Windows 11 licenses, both Home and Pro editions. So if for some reason you want to install Windows 11 directly on a new build, then you can also use that to activate. You can use the promo code ET20 for a 20% discount on any of their licenses. I will leave their links down in the video description.
And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.